Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nez Tech Bits, and today we're taking a look at the reason why Epstein didn't actually kill himself. Just kidding. We're checking out this P43S uh, from Lenovo, this ThinkPad. Okay, I am amazed that for a P-Series, this thing is as light as it is. I remember the first top laptop I actually walked around with in high school was like five pounds. This is like, <laughs> it's not even one pound. It's amazing. It's super light, super amazing. And engineering students that walk around with something like this, <clears throat> y'all don't even know what it's like to carry around a five pound uh, laptop in your backpack. Man, heavy laptops in your backpack, I swear to God, somehow they just get heavier and heavier and heavier as you go through your day. But man, I just can't get over how powerful and light this unit is. It's, um, it's last time I did a review, someone was commenting on sharp corners i don't see any sharp corners here um yeah it just looks nice it's a pretty huge trackpad does anyone actually use this anymore and geez it just looks nice you got a plasticky feel uh, on the e series we're getting a bit of an aluminum feel but this is a p series p series is built to be strong p series are built to be uh well very reliable all lenovo's are built to be reliable but this particular brand, the P-Series, is made for power. We've got 16 gigabytes RAM. Let's take a look at the device manager. We'll see what kind of video card we got here. The display adapter. Okay, we got an NVIDIA Quadro P520 uh, and UHD graphics Intel 620. Now, a lot of people see that and they're like, oh, no, I only wanted to use the bigger graphics card. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want this thing to only use the bigger graphics card, you don't even need a laptop because if you're going to be using the bigger graphics card, you are not going to have a battery life to this thing. You want to see what the battery on this thing's like? Yeah, there is no battery. It's something on the inside. So if you're one of those folks that are going to ask me, it happens all the time just to make sure this thing only runs with the most powerful ladies and gentlemen just get a freaking desktop because you're not going to be moving this thing off your desk and with the process one two three four five six seven eight octo core very nice i can't complain about that it's just i can't get over how small this thing is this thing just nice i really like it but before i get any further i want to check out the cpu let's do a performance benchmark of course we've got a camera up here and I wonder, oh yeah, it does, it can shut, there's a little shutter up there, that's perfect. That makes me feel more comfortable. That's interesting, we're living in a world these days where um, we need to close the camera because we think that our own government, or maybe even a foreign government, uh, is watching us. And the thing about, the thing about uh, Lenovo is it is a Chinese company. And if you know anything about the news, I shouldn't have to tell you why that can be a little bit concerning. The system appears to be running on battery. Oh, I haven't even plugged the darn thing in yet. Anyways, um, the issue, the issue with uh, getting anything from China, particularly electronics, is that everything working within China is basically under the Chinese government. It's the people's government. And unless you want to be tortured and murdered very slowly and uh, executed and buried in a ditch, then you're going to do whatever the government says. Now, a lot of people are going to say, Nevin, that doesn't happen with Lenovo. Lenovo wants to be a different kind of company. Well, remember the Superfish uh, issue, anybody? So I'm thinking that the Superfish could get through. Look up the Superfish. A lot of people went back to Dell because of that. Um, so I'm going to run a benchmark on this thing. I want to see what actual number I'm getting, and I'm expecting at least 3,400. Uh, on a side note, a lot of the Lenovo systems that I've run into with the i5 versus the i7 is you get, you don't really get a lot of difference in power between the i5s and the i7s. But this isn't the kind of system that you can get as an i5. It's supposed to be a powerhouse. And once again, I'm surprised that this thing's as small as it is. With as much power as it, it has, I think I have three... P series, uh, or I've gone through three P series, and those things have all been built, built. But this thing is actually, actually a uh, a light system. Anyways, once we get to the two D and the three D graphics, I will be back. All right, here we have the uh, Nvidia Nvidia Quadro at forty frames per second. Interesting how when I run it with a quattro, it does this strange thing to the screen. I don't know what's up with that. But she's flying nice and smoothly, boys. Now, 
Next up, we got the DirectX 10 test. Check out them floating trees. This is pretty good. Using the uh, Quadro at uh, 20.5 frames per second. Next up, DirectX 11, of course. Not bad. 54 frames per second. Pretty smooth, actually. Just as I expected. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. Next up, DirectX 12. Oh, smooth, smooth, very nice. Almost 30 frames per second. Actually getting penalized by 60% because I can't run at the desired resolution. Okay. But damn, that's smooth. I like what I see. Pop out happy with that. <laughs> All right, so that is a reasonable score, 3,978. That's just about what I was expecting. Lots of power from a little unit, I gotta say. I gotta say, I think I paid under $2,000 for this particular one. So let's try a real-world video game uh, test on this sucker next. All right, so there's definitely a lot of clips to work through if you want to get this thing off. You got to be pretty careful because they are really on there. Four standard Phillips head screws, actually one, two, three, five or six, and then you can just get right in here. It's interesting, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be where the Wi-Fi normally goes. I'm pretty sure we can hook memory up in there, but if I'm wrong, let me know, guys. What do we put in there? Got a Western Digital hard drive in there. I'm happy to see Western Digital. I do not like the way that uh, HP makes their own hard drives because I don't trust anything that HP makes. Got another slot right here for the RAM so we can still rock dual channel as long as we get another one. This is where the CPU is, heat pipe of course, the fan, fan blowing air out. The grill is really small so if you're an engineering student you work around a lot of dust and uh, oil. This is going to get clogged really quickly, maybe in a few months. Here's the battery, not a whole lot of power in it. But it should be enough power. Should be enough power for minor things, but definitely won't be enough power to be running that uh, powerful graphics card off for long periods of time. That thing's going to die on you relatively quickly. Seriously, this thing is in there pretty crazy. Don't usually mangle my cards up so badly when I do it this way. But yeah, lots of clips on the way around. You'll know them when you see them. Treat them carefully. That's what's on the inside, anyways. All right, so honestly, Grand Theft Auto is pretty laggy. I'm not a big fan of that. What I'm also not a big fan of is the fact I didn't save my... Apparently, I didn't actually save uh, my spot. I thought they saved things saved on the cloud. Come on. Come on, this thing doesn't like my Xbox One remotes. Oh no, I'm just supposed to point this gun at these guys and make them do something. This doesn't feel very nice, honestly. I'm not too pleased with it. Come on. Man, the lag is real. Seriously. Okay, I'm pressing up now. Pressing down now. Up. Down. Up. To just give you an idea. I can't believe I actually installed this only to, to, to have it be this bad. And not to have my freaking save. Ugh. What are you doing? Oh, that's my fault. Anywho, I think that's about it for me. Neff from Neff's Tech, but ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, take care of each other. Have a good one, folks.